Hey guys, welcome to the first game of BSL Season 12 Chobo League Group C final match between Rancor and Bug. So rematch between Rancor and Bug. Rancor won in their initial engagement. Bug starting the upper right corner as the brown Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Rancor as the yellow Zerg. Actually, I'm going to color switch this, so ignore that. Bottom left hand corner, Rancor as the red Zerg. Upper right hand corner, we have Bug as the blue Protoss. I suppose I should decide whether I'm doing that before the cast. As to not interrupt flow, we'll work with it here. Initial Overlord scouting the bottom right hand corner. This is on Polypoid for player map, more macro oriented. Rancor. I think he's got to feel very confident going into this match. He already won a series here against Bug. And if I recall, he won it pretty handily. Initial pile on down here for Bug. Towards his natural expansion, I'm wondering if he's going to opt for a gateway first. Rancor not building an Overlord first, so it looks like he's going to opt for a pool opener. Perhaps a 9 pool. There's the 9 pool. So it's going to be critical that, depending on scouting, that Bug uh, gets... Forge or gateway down and gets units out as quickly as possible. For people wondering in chat, this is absolutely the Bisu build from Zerg right here. Drone extract trick, which actually my understanding is, is this is not uh, efficient. And oh no. Bug, I think, is going for a 12 Nexus. This is disastrous. Yeah, he's going for a 12 Nexus. Okay. He could still pull this off if he doesn't get scouted. But going up against a 9 pool, it is going to be incredibly difficult to defend. Incredibly difficult. So 12 Nexus down right there. Going up against far superior amount of units. The critical thing is scouting. Rancor moving his drone to the upper left-hand corner. Unfortunately, this is... Oh, no. This is disastrous. I think this is going to be game. Rancor sees bottom right-hand corner, sees nothing there. Upper left-hand corner, he knows... Nothing's up here. So he knows where he needs to send these Zerglings. Forge is warping in. There's the initial six Zerglings. So this is going to require probes being pulled. And even then, it is going to be difficult to defend. Hatchery down. Probes wandering out. And the probe is late, dropping the cannon by a half second. Probes need to pull. Ugh. Okay, Gateway's in the way. Still need more probes to pull off the line to defend this. Because it is going to be enough, uh, quite a bit of time. And more Zerglings flooding out here from Rancor. He is grabbing a natural expansion behind this. Okay, probes are here. This is going to be tricky. And he I'm not sure he even knows this is coming. Okay, Zerglings moving up. Cannon just in position to warp in. But this is going to be free hits on those initial probes. Probes down. Six Zerglings around a cannon like this does mean that cannon gets taken out. More probes pulling off the line to try to provide some defense. The gateway just now getting up. And there's no second cannon. That's GG. Ah. Uh, that's not what I want to see for a game one. So game one easily goes to Rancor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Moving on to game two momentarily.